Hello everyone, hope you're doing all right today. I have for you some Focus Guardian gameplay. These are the talents that I'm currently running. Um, this is a game where I really wish that I was running Vigilance and cut to pieces, but oh well. We end up running the Cardiac Coronary for the big single target, and then Fearless Victor and Champion's Precision for just the big damage overall. We don't really care about defensives. No, 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 no. Big numbers makes me big happy. This is a Void Star match where we went up against a team that was frankly way more stacked than our team was. I took a whole bunch of damage and died 10 times. It wasn't a, it's not the world's most prettiest game, let's go with that. But I got some comments from people saying, hey, it'd be fun to see more, you know, casual games where things don't always go right, where it's not just like, hey, look at the big number flex. So I figured I'd show off this game and, you know, let this be the background. But I... Wanted to do some more of these videos of a little more casual commentary. People seem to like them, so I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll give people what they want. I don't, you know, not fine by me. I get to live out my childhood dream of being Hutch and Stark, except without Call of Duty and playing uh, Star Wars instead. So, yeah, I mean, if you like these videos, by all means, if you have a, a topic that you'd like me to cover, uh, let me know. I'm happy to cover it. Because the topic I wanted to cover today is toxicity. And it's kind of brought on by the conversation that we were having in the previous video where I made my opinions pretty clear about regs and PvP pre-mades, and I knew that I was going to get some pushback for it just because I know not everyone shares that opinion, but I was totally fine with that. I knew it going into it that I was going to make some people unhappy, right? And I got some comments from friends and people in the community saying like, hey, I saw that people were kind of popping off in the comments, like, are you okay? And I was flattered by the fact that so many people wanted to reach out and check in on my mental health. Like, thanks, I appreciate that. But I was also kind of confused by the concerns. And I think it comes down to the fact that I have a very different philosophy about who I allow to impact my mental health. For example, internet comments are not allowed to impact my mental health. Of course, there's gonna be moments of frustration where People will say something dumb or something that's untrue and I can be frustrated in the moment, especially when people say like things are just flat out wrong about me and they just make stuff up. That can be obviously very frustrating, but it's a moment of kick rocks and then you're done with it. I don't let it be anything more than that. It's a brief moment of frustration and I, you just you don't have my permission to <laughs> ruin my day or impact my mental health because I essentially have five groups of people that I allow to impact my mental health, or the, let me phrase that differently. I have five groups of people whose opinions I genuinely care about, right? Uh, the first is God, for obvious reasons, if you're religious, it's kind of important. The second group is my family. When push comes to shove, you know, family is the one that's going to be with you through, you know, hell or high water. I'm very fortunate that my family is actually pretty solid, but it's easier for them to have my back if I have theirs. So I have to care about their opinions, even if I don't agree with them. So God, family, three would be my partner. If you're in a relationship, their opinion matters. You can't just ignore them. So there's three groups. Uh, fourth is my boss, cause I have to pay the bills somehow. And then five is my friends, because friends are like family light. You know, maintaining a healthy social life is good for you. You need people to do hobbies with and spend time with, or, you know, help you move from crappy apartment to crappy apartment. And those are the five people whose opinions I genuinely care about. God, family, partner, boss, and friends. And if people don't fall within those five categories, their opinion doesn't matter to me. Not in a meaningful way. Like, it's nice to be liked, and I'm flattered when people write nice things in the comments section. Um, it's fun to read. It, it's, uh, it's, it's rewarding to have people say, oh, that was, I really appreciated this guide, or I had fun with this video, etc. Um, but it doesn't really matter, right? Good or bad, it, why should I care? And that sounds harsh, but let me give you an example. Uh, if I were to go out and get hit by a bus tomorrow, would you really care? Like, would your life significantly change? You're gonna like, like go on a five year long pilgrimage promoting pedestrian safety all cause some nerd who plays PVP got hit by a trolley? Uh, of course not, no. You'd be sad for maybe 15 minutes and then you get on with your life. But the people that would care would be God, family, partner, boss, and friends. It might take those people a while to get over it. They're the ones that preserve my memory who hopefully I made an impact on. And because hopefully I matter to them, their opinion of me matters to me. And if someone doesn't fall inside that circle, they're not allowed to take that joy from me because they don't really matter, right? Because if, if XX daddy didn't love me for 20 XX comments of 
obvious hacker, loser, could have been better if he didn't suck, toxic noob, uh, is allowed to take my joy, uh, that I just, I couldn't be on the internet, right? That person is not allowed to take my joy from me. They're, they're just not. They could cease to exist tomorrow and my life wouldn't change, so why should I care? I can allow it to upset me for like 30 seconds, but after that, it just doesn't matter. And especially when you're dealing with toxicity on the internet, you have to have some guardrails up about whose opinion you actually care about. Because when people can hide behind being anonymous and not getting punched in the throat for saying some truly heinous things, there's always going to be an emotional 14-year-old or a 36-year-old who just got home after a long shift of getting yelled at by his boss while his wife boned another man who's going to take their anger out on you over a video game. Now, if this was in person, they would never see these things to your face because you gouge their eyes out. But to them, you're just a faceless punching bad who they can mistreat without any consequences. This happens in PvP, raiding, flashpoints, RP, heroics. It happens everywhere. People will mistreat each other because they'll suffer no consequences for it. And are you going to let them impact you? Seriously. Like, it, it sounds really callous of just like, don't care. And it takes a lot of discipline to not care, but you cannot let these people affect you. You cannot let them take your joy from you for any extended period of time. They have not earned the right to truly upset you. And I get it. If, if I get done with a match and I get a DM that says, kill yourself, rat, there's always going to be a momentary desire to say something back and engage in that level of hatred and anger and to dunk on them and try to change their mind. But it never works. <laughs> It's not realistic because you're not dealing with a rational human being. You're dealing with an emotional animal at best. And emotional people aren't interested in your facts or logics. You're not going to turn the interaction around. It just doesn't work. The only solution to those situations is to reply, or reply with your favorite response of choice, either a well thought out explanation or something simple and elegant like small penis detected in, in all caps, and then just smash the world's fast ignore and then giggle knowing that they're going to get the unsatisfying red text of this player is ignoring you and then have to stew in their own misery of knowing you got the last word in. That's a very satisfying experience and it doesn't drag you down to their level of just yelling at each other over the internet. If you let them drag you down to that level, you're just giving them permission to steal your joy from you and that's never worth it. But if you want a proactive way to prevent the issue of toxicity to begin with, 99% of the time, you will get back what you give. If you're kind and you're understanding and you're friendly, most of the time, people are willing to give back to you what you give to them. So even if they're strangers, if you're like being nice and like putting off positive vibes, which sounds super cringe to just call them posy vibes, uh, but people are willing to give it back to you, right? If you're afraid of getting into PVP because of toxicity, I don't care if you're in the lowest of lobbies or the highest you're ranked PVP, a quick howdy in chat can set a very friendly tone. And I found that people are, mess, are, are much less likely to pop off in chat if you have the common courtesy of just being friendly. Additionally, for those of you who are new to PVP and you're worried about getting dunked on for being bad, the obvious shield is just to say that you're new. Like the greatest shield in your arsenal for being new and preventing toxicity is just saying, hi, I'm new to PVP. Is there anything I should keep an eye out for? Or like, what's the objective here? This goes for PVP, for flashpoints, for raids, everything. Because most people aren't going to be mad at you for being new. And if you're actively pursuing ways to get better at the game, people will generally be fine with that. If anyone gets mad at you for being new at a video game, they're a moron and their opinion is worth literally nothing. You just, it's, it's dog, it's dog water, not worth a thing. And in fact, most players, especially PVPers, are actually pretty fond of imparting their knowledge to new players because it's a way to, for them at least, to flex their game skills in a way that's actually productive for the community. And it's an easy way to stroke their ego of saying, ah, yes, I know how to play your class. Here's my recommendation for you. Be good, blah, 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 blah. Um, and most reasonable players will extend the olive branch of grace to people who they know it's their first time queuing up either for regs, ranked, etc. A simple, hey, I'm new, what should I know? Works fantastically every time. I don't care if you are just getting into hammer station veteran mode or if you're getting into solo ranked PvP. You say, hey, first time here, what do I do? People will generally be willing to extend that olive branch to you. 
Now, I'm not saying dodge all criticism, right? Of course, there's going to be times where you're going to mess up and people are going to tell you to do things differently. It happens in games. It happens in making YouTube videos. It happens everywhere. And oftentimes, there will be some merit to those criticisms. But you have to be able to separate your ego from the critics because the natural human reaction is going to be the raise the defenses and tell the people to kick rocks in you know unfriendly terms. But being able to breathe, process where the criticism is coming from, and then digest and then implement is going to take you very, very far. This happens a lot in video games. This happens a lot in real life. This happens a lot at your job. If you're just getting into the workforce and your boss comes to you and says, hey, have you considered doing X, Y, and Z instead of A, B, and C for your job? I think it'd be better. The natural instinct is going to be to say, no, kick rocks. My way is good. I don't know why you're threatening me. But consider that they're coming from a place of expertise and they just want you to succeed. So unless your boss is telling you, kill yourself, rat, he's probably coming from a place of, you know, genuine interest for your good, you know, self-being. So TLDR, people on the internet and their opinions are not worth your time and effort of actually being upset for an extended period of time. And I know it sounds very basic to say, just, just don't care but you have to develop those mental barriers because people on the internet are absolute degenerates. You're gonna run into all sorts of people who will suffer no consequences for their actions and you have to find the mental internal fortitude to just filter out what's allowed to take your joy from you and what's not. So hopefully that provides some insight and some, some help for those of you who are afraid of getting into the toxic side of PVP or PVE or RP or just generally existing on the internet. Like there are assholes out there. I'm not saying that there's not, but you have to choose wisely who's allowed to actually influence your emotions at any given time. So hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. You will get to watch me enjoy being absolutely pummeled for 6.5 or 6.2K while the rest of my team took three or mil rather. Wow, I can't even, I got so I got so wrapped up in talking, I can't read where the rest of my team got tunneled for half of what I did, but we still managed to pull out the big fat W. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Enjoy yourselves, like, count, and subscribe, and be careful with who you allow to impact your, you know, emotional well-being. So take care now. Goodbye.